right, so we're gonna do a little game um, up here at the non-volley uh, zone, but we're also gonna have a little bit of a focus, okay? So um, one of the things that we're gonna work on a little bit is uh, attackable balls, disguising our shots a little bit. And basically how it's gonna work is, um, so I've got the two cones right here. So this is considered our middle space, okay? So um, we're really gonna focus on uh, the, the people that are gonna be in these positions on the left-hand side of the court, uh, utilizing the forehand in the middle, essentially. And uh, what we're gonna look at is just trying to kind of play out some points, but um, focus on trying to make more options with our forehand in the center. So uh, what we're looking at is when we kind of start these points and get the ball rolling, one of the things why we're positioned out here is, is if I'm in a cross-court rally, all of this space is now in front of me, okay? Now, what's important about that is if I'm taking a forehand in the middle quadrants, I can essentially direct it up at this person, I can attack it down the middle, I can go out wide, I can lob. You have lots of options from that position. So there's two things we're looking for. We're looking for the forehand option, uh, but also in the middle. So what I see a lot of people do when they're dinking in this cross court position is they do what we call the slide. They keep sliding and taking backhands like this instead of turning and looking for the opportunity to do more with that forehand dink, okay? So we'll play out some points um, and we'll kind of do that. So um, uh, we'll rotate positions so everyone kind of gets to be on this forehand side. But at the same time, the people that are in front of us, okay, have to make the expectation that they are now gonna get attacked. Cause let's face it, if I have a forehand right here and I see this person a little bit out of position, I am now going to push it up to her body and attack that ball, okay? So they've gotta be ready to counter attack and get that paddle up there and ready, okay? All right, so let's try to play it out a little bit. Okay. So, and, and this is what, because what happens with a lot of players out there is they don't realize when you get a dink in the middle, you have attackable options. It's just realizing to do something with that ball. Okay. Good, good, good. Nice. Almost. Okay. And this is where that tricky side is because also they know we're attacking those middle balls, right? So what can they do? Uh, they've got to make sure that those dinks stay to the outside so that we're not creating that attackable. But what happens a lot is when our opponent gets pulled, this person feels like they got to go cover something, okay? So if I see my opponent going to try to cover the middle, I've now got two options. I'm going to either go behind them or I'm actually going to attack their body, okay? So what's actually a better situation is hold your ground, make them play the space in front of you, okay, and create that angle, okay? Ah. That's not what I was All right, go ahead and beat it, go ahead. Almost, a little bit too much, here we go. Good, breathe, I'm gonna breathe, good, and there's my ball. Uh, and this is kind of why I notice what's hard here is notice how still my feet are. This is what keeps us at being able to attack these shots. So also you're thinking, how do you kind of build the ball? So what these guys want to think about is if they get pulled out wide, use that down the line reset, and that'll often pull it to your partner in that center shot. 